integration by parts into the solution. So really, the, the focus of our question is really the second part. We're going to solve this differential equation, but in order to do so, uh, we're going to have to consider integration by parts. It's one of those questions where we do a little bit of uh, integration and then we find that we're going to use that in our subsequent uh, the second part. So let's have a look at the first thing. It says find the integral of x times e to the negative x dx. Okay, so as integration by parts goes, we want to uh, nominate one of the terms, usually the, the polynomial, to be u and the other to be v dash. And then we can differentiate the first one and we can integrate the second, which gives us effectively negative e to the x, e to the negative x divided by negative 1 which means that uh, when we're using integration by parts, it's u times v, first of all. So it's negative x e to the negative x minus the integral of u dash v, which is these two. And that becomes negative e to the x. I'm going to put that negative out uh, and make that a positive, And then we've got e to the negative x dx. So that's our simplified version using integration by parts. And then... We've got the integral of e to the negative x we've already uh, decided is negative e to the negative x. Oops. So we can say minus e to the negative x uh, plus e. Okay, so that's uh, the answer. So in other words, any time we see the integral of x times e to the negative x dx, we can say, ah, we know what we can use as a substitution. So that's because we're going to find that appearing in the second part, um, which says, hence find a, a particular solution to the equation e to the x divided by dx equals e to the x divided by dx is equal to xy squared. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? We're still on our separating variables, so we need to take the y term over to divide through by y squared. And then we've got x over e to the x dx. Okay. Um, so we can say on the left hand side we've got y to the power negative 2 dy. And we can write the right hand side as x e to the negative x dx and then we're ready to integrate and if we integrate then you can see on the left hand side we've got something that we can manage that becomes y to the negative one divided by negative one um, equals well here we've got our integral that we worked on earlier on um, we have to use integration by parts and we've already worked out up here that the answer to that is negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x plus c. Um, so we're really saying here that we've got negative, what have we got? We've got 1 over y is equal to negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x plus c. Okay, uh, what could we do with that? Well, we've also got a particular integral. We want really to make it a function y, but again, we don't have to get it already uh, into y equals. First of all, sometimes substituting the values in can simplify the transition into y equals. So what I'm going to do just now is I'm going to leave that as a kind of general solution, and we're going to introduce, you know, for a particular solution, um, the information that we've got, which is that x is 0, y is 1, x equals 0, and y is 1. So what we've got here, if we substitute that in, you've got basically 1 equals, that whole first term goes to 0, minus e to the 0, plus c. So 1 is equal to negative 1 plus c, so c has a value of 2.
actually. Uh, I've forgotten back up here. Uh, it should be negative while I'm over here. Uh, there should be a negative there, and that's therefore that becomes a negative one. And we can see here that c is equal to zero. My apologies. Okay, so c is zero. So in, in other words, what we've done is we've simplified uh, the problem a little bit by saying that our function, I'm going to take the original, I'll write it out, negative 1 over y is equal to negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x. We don't need to put plus c anymore. Uh, we can multiply through by uh, negative 1, and that makes everything positive. I always like to have positive things. Um, what have we got? We've got a common factor of e to the negative x, x plus 1. Um, so what could we do uh, in order to change that around? It's basically 1 over, isn't it? So y equals 1 over e to the negative x times x plus 1. And we could make a positive index and say that our solution would look something like that. y equals e to the x over x plus 1. So you can see there that we kind of didn't get... Uh, our general solution to y equals, first of all, uh, it just uh, it's sometimes it's good to get rid of or, or introduce the constant term first before we finally do that final rearranging. Okay, so that's us using part integration by parts in a differential equation uh, solution. Hope that can make sense, and we can go on now and have a look at how we can apply uh, differential equations into some uh, contextual problems and you can check out example 9 for that.